Hey, this is John from Alloy211. In today's video, I wanted to demonstrate the difference in penetration between a 55 grain full metal jacket 5.56 and a 62 grain, the infamous green tip, penetrator 5.56, and 1 inch mild steel. There are a couple different reasons why I chose 1 inch mild steel as what I wanted to shoot this into. The main one being that I knew neither round would penetrate through this material. Because if you have one round that doesn't penetrate through the material and the other one goes through the material because it's too thin, you can't really measure the penetration of the round that went through it. You just go look at it and go, oh, it went through it. So you can't measure that in any way other than saying, yep, it went through a half inch piece of steel or whatever. I shot this at about 70 feet and I wouldn't recommend shooting steel of any nature at 70 feet and especially not mild steel and you should never shoot mild steel with a rifle because it will crater like this and when you have craters like this you're going to have rounds coming back on you this irregular surface is going to send shrapnel back at you and it's it's going to be bad well i mean it, it may not be bad at first but it will probably be bad someone will probably get hurt and no one needs to get hurt when you're out there having fun shooting and even for handgun rounds as you can see right here this dimple is from a nine millimeter handgun and this is a one inch thick piece of, here I'll even show you, so one inch thick piece of mild steel. So even at one inch thick, it still leaves a welt right there on the surface of that material. Now as a comparison, here's a piece of AR-400 steel, which is a hardened steel, and 223s don't leave a welt on this. So if a handgun's leaving a welt on it, it's just not good to use as a target. So don't shoot at targets like this. And not to, you know, not to say that and then, you know, obviously I did it. I did it for one reason and one reason only. If you notice, this block has not been shot much. The only reason I even have this block was for this sort of testing. And it is very limited. I believe down here was a 7.62 by 54, but I don't remember for sure, so I don't want to say because I believe this was my first shot with the 7.62 by 54 and then that was my second one. You know, this is only this far off the ground. It was, it was a little more difficult to hit than you would think. Anyway, let's go ahead and measure the depth of these, the depth of this penetration so we can have a good idea of how much more the 62 grain penetrator penetrated this seal. Now I'm just using a metal ruler here and luckily the splash on these craters is almost exactly the same. Now if you look at that, that's about three-eighths of an inch. It's almost exactly three-eighths of an inch. You want to see in metric it is 9.72 whoop 9.72 millimeters in metric. Switch back to inch because we're in North America or I'm in North America. I don't know where you may be. And let's check the 62 grain hole. Now this goes way deep down in there and in a minute I'll zoom the camera down in there. Now I'm good there, pretty sure. That's 0.57. That's you know 0.2 two tenths of an inch. That's almost a quarter of an inch difference in penetration. In millimeters that's 14.68 millimeters. So that's almost five more millimeters of penetration. And that's I mean that is a significant difference between the two rounds. Right there, if you shot this 55 grain bullet at a half inch piece of mild steel, it probably wouldn't go through it. If you shot this 62 grain penetrator at a half inch piece of steel, it would more than likely go through it. And that, that's, a, that's a big difference right there. Because I mean, most people would assume a half inch piece of steel would stop a bullet like this. I mean, this is only a half inch, but it's a different kind of steel. So that's something to always remember. Not trying to preach about it, just saying it's you always want to make sure you're shooting good steel. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in as much as I can into this hole. Whoa, oh, got it out of focus a bit. Just so you can see. Oh, maybe it'll maybe it'll come in. Maybe it'll come in. Let me move these bullets. Move the camera slightly. 
come in. I got it in there better before. There we go. Now if you look, I mean that is quite a bit further down in there. And what's really interesting about it is if you look at the 55 grain, it's a relatively flat crater, whereas the 62 grain penetrator comes down in to, let me try to get there, so there's not so much of a shadow in there, but it comes down to a very sharp point. It's very sharp, I mean, it's uh, not flat at all, it is very cone shaped. So I thought that was an interesting difference between the two, and it's obviously because of the core in the 62 grain compared to the just lead core in the 55 grain. But I thought this was an interesting difference between these two rounds, and you know, it just demonstrates that there can really be a lot of difference even in one caliber, just changing the bullet weight and the bullet composition can do a significant more penetration in differing materials. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I hope you learned something or enjoyed it, or both. If you did, like and subscribe. Thanks. Have a good day.